A true rock star entrance. There is an electric feeling in this arena. Undeniable energy to his arrival. Setting the stage for what's to come next. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. We are taking in the totally unique style and attitude of Shinsuke Nakamura. A man who does what he wants, who lives his life his way. Doesn't hesitate to punish those who cross his path. Well, don't come between Shinsuke and his goals. Simple as that. Shinsuke's proven it with newfound brutality. Here comes the first mixed martial artist in WWE history, Ken Shamrock. And his opponent from Sacramento, California, weighing in at 205 pounds, the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock. Shamrock's transition from the MMA world to WWE has been seamless. He treats every match like a cage fight. He's been the world's most dangerous champion as a former Intercontinental Champion, a tag team champion, and King of the Ring. Since the moment he arrived in WWE, Shinsuke Nakamura has doggedly been pursuing success. Uh-oh, four, I'm gonna cut off the win. Guillotine is a very, very difficult submission to escape, but he did it. Ooh. Oh, man, right on the mark. Oh, look at this, just cranking the head. That's gonna hurt. Just cranking the head. Punishing stretch. That could produce a dislocation or at the very least, a pinched nerve. Flying. Oh my gosh. Nakamura's globe tried an experience being put to the test here. Could be what Shamrock really needed to push the advantage. Shamrock showing no restraint. Nakamura struggling with this onset. No signs of either combatant backing down. And did you hear the impact of that? Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Hits back against Nakamura. Finds the advantage after a string of counts. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. And there was some force on that move. He turns it around. Who will break first? That is the question. starting to weigh down on him. Oh, nails the midsection. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Wrenches the arm. Oh, nasty kick. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Yeah, Shinsuke showed a solid game plan there. Oh, what a knee lift. And a kick. He fends off the attack. Nakamura, inverted power 
SummerSlam. Doesn't matter the time or place, that will it be? A kick out at two. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Kick to the abdomen. Cut off with a kick to the gut. He heads outside, count out's legal in this match. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. One, Rolling into a monkey flip. Two. Pulled in for a belly to belly. Tosses him back in now. Five. Setting up. Might just have what it takes to keep Nakamura down. And Shamrock picks the leg. Looking for the ankle lock submission. Ankle lock it. In the danger zone with the ankle lock. No, kicked out of it. He jumps up by Shinsuke Nakamura. That can do Shamrock in. this from his beating heart will not be stopped and you see the look of exhaustion mixed with frustration on Shinsuke's face what more does he need to do here from way up the top and down stomping ouch and Shamrock reverses Watch this Herculean power. Deadlift back suplex. Yikes. Oh, God. Oh, what a kick. Oh, stop, stop, stop. And the forearm smash. A striking blow. And Nakamura is still able to pick a spot against the competition. Yeah, Shamrock's about to be forced into desperation mode if he wants to stay alive. Lighten up the chest and now straight to the knee. Shamrock able to defend against that. Denied with an elbow. Scouting pays off against Nakamura. And Shamrock picks the leg, looking for the ankle lock submission. It's cinched in. The King of Strong. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner. The world's most dangerous man, King. What a hard-hitting win for Ken Shamrock. Shamrock proving once again that he's got dynamite in those fists. Mess with him at your own risk.
We are about to see something good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Accra, Ghana, weighing in at 250 pounds, Tama Lo A. This competitor is just way, way too aggressive. They need to do some breathing exercises or something. Unlock the inner peace. I'm a little surprised to hear that from you, Corey. You endorse anyone who brings a little animosity to the ring. Well, maybe sometimes I do, but this is too much. They should dial it back. Do some yoga. He's in perhaps the best physical condition of his life. He knows what it takes to reach the top here in WWE. I got a feeling this match is gonna be too sweet. And his opponent, representing the OC by way of Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 213 pounds, Carl Anderson. We all know the OC loves to have a good time, but the one thing they might love even more is getting into a good old-fashioned fight. <laughs> yeah, they brawled all over the world and sometimes with each other. The OC never sleeps on a good fight. You can see the look of intensity on their faces already. The fun and games are over. I am not envious of their opponents at all. They're in store for an old-fashioned butt-flipping, guys. face both in and out of the ring machine gun carl anderson loves to talk trash and back it all up when the time comes the good brother just might be the most underrated talent on the entire roster absolutely corey this match could be exactly what anderson needs to remind the wwe universe and the boys in the back just how dangerous he really is but he's tasked with quite the challenge in the form of his competitor across the ring this guy has been tormenting the wwe roster for weeks now Oh, that's disrespectful. Well, I don't think there was anything necessary about that. Attacking the arm. Great way to break down your opponent. And that prevents any offense from Carl. Anderson can shine as a singles competitor, but what's the biggest hole in his game from your vantage point? And Brother Carl's a lot of things, but big ain't one of them. If you have size or a power advantage, you've got to use it to your advantage immediately. He's one step ahead there. Now uh, front and neck lock and knee lift after knee lift. And the face. Half kick right on point. He's looking a little off balance. Yeah, very motivated Anderson in front of us. Uh-oh. And finds a counter. And he goes for the pin. Only a one count before the kick out. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Oof. Heck of a combination. into the corner. Headlock applied and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Carl gets jolted by the counter. These two having an answer for everything. Big knee to the midsection. And 
in full control here. Face first. And he's able to reverse. Uh-oh, it's the red, white, and blue. And will this be it? Just kicks out. He really thought that was it. Anderson is in a very vulnerable position here. Oh, Carl answers back. Anderson! Anderson with the gun stone. Anderson could seal things up. Two! What? Only two? I thought once he executed that, it was good night. You have to wonder, how much more can he take? It must be demoralizing knowing you've unleashed your best shot on your opponent to no avail. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. I'm starting to wonder if these superstars even have breaking points. Now, we're well beyond that now, Saxton. We're so far out in the deep waters, it might as well be the abyss. Front face lock applied. It's about to get more painful. Top suplex. Well scattered reversal there. And he's able to counter. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Draped over the top rope. Close line. Oh, no, it's roll up. Almost ended it there. And you got to think he's just one fight blow away from not kicking out next time. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Oh, hi! You gotta be kidding me! Just crashing down with high impact. Oh, a wicked kick to the lower back. What are they doing here? Oh, an arm breaker. Oh, right on the arm. What a barrage of stops. It's real dangerous when Anderson gets going like this. And I bet Carl's looking to inflict more damage, too. Re-entering the ring now. Carl showing no fear, no intimidation. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. And he's taking this to the outside now. Anderson muscles up. Uh-oh. Steered clear of that. Bangs back with their own count. Anderson's going to have to take the L here tonight. Oh, Carl Anderson on the losing end tonight, which I'd say is too bad. I see what you did there.
Chelsea Green is here. And uh, I think she wants to speak to the manager. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, Chelsea Green. You know, I'm not an advocate for asking to speak to the manager, but I have to admit it has worked well for Chelsea Green. Are you kidding me, Saxton? Championship gold, competing at WrestleMania, those are things that Chelsea earned. That she even had to politely ask for those opportunities is due to poor work of a substandard general manager. Let's see if Chelsea gets her way tonight. She always does. treat every single opponent with respect, but they don't care. Hey, the WWE Universe sounds like they think it's cool. Agreed. It is cool. What you just said was powerfully uncool. Yeah. Title defense or not, she will always leave it all in the ring. And here is a champion who has become a real object of fascination among loyal fans. Proof positive that when you take control of your own destiny, you can accomplish big dreams. Now that she has a title around her waist, everyone is waiting to see what happens next. She doesn't need to worry about losing her gold tonight in this non-title match, but momentum is everything. And as a champion, you never want to be seen as slipping. But she's facing off against someone who will go straight to the manager if she doesn't get her way in this one. Chelsea Green. Look, there is nothing wrong with making the system work for you, Saxton. And Chelsea just so happens to be a master of that. Win or lose, Chelsea Green knows how to get what she wants. Gotta hurt. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. She flips it back on her. Chelsea one step ahead. Knee. What are they going to do here? Leg snap! Bang! Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Elbow drop! Stomp to the leg. Counters right back on Chelsea. Attack at the base. Can't put together much offense with no base. Foot to the belly. Oh man! Intercepted the attack with a kick to the face. Yeah. Bang! She's losing some steam now. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Oh, I saw it coming. Locks in the gut wrench. All the way up and boom! And time. Gut buster. Yeah, yeah. Good God, that's devastating. And shoulders are down. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. <laughs> Stop at 
after stomp after stomp. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. So it's bludgeoning their opponent. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Powerful fallaway slam. Looking for a scoop slam? No, slips behind. Inverted DDT connects. Oh, my goodness. Powered them up. No, here come the punches. And breaks out. This is starting to reach Kane and Abel levels of animosity, guys. Jeez, Cole, I hope it doesn't go that far. Yeah, I don't think I can stomach that. Can she keep her down? Barely kicks out. This could be a tipping point in this match. <laughs> Body slam slipped out. Inverted DDT. Chelsea Green looking to remind everyone, I'm prettier. Did Chelsea get enough of it? Cover. And she's still in the game. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. Sometimes when you unleash your best offense and it doesn't get the job done, you're taken out of your game. That's a real possibility now in this match. From the top. Oh, God. What now? Oh, a stop to the belly welly. Able to avoid any harm there. Snap mail right into the surfboard stretch. She, she breaks it. Big escape there. She was clearly waiting for that. Chelsea on the receiving end. She's pushed into the corner. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Oh, what a counter. The strength of that slam. Looking for a scoop slam, but from behind, inverted DDT. She returns the favor there. myself the same question. I have no idea. Chelsea had that well scouted. Kick to the gut. Set up. Flipping pile driver. Spiked. Green cannot and will not be stopped. Chelsea Green looking to remind everyone. Chelsea Green got all of that. Cover! Two count! That'll be a win! What a hard-fought victory! Here is your winner, Chelsea Green! And Chelsea Green is on top of the world with this win. This is something we'll never hear the end of from Chelsea Green. She should be allowed to celebrate her victory, Saxton.
Oh, you know it's time. Get ready to testify. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Dudley Boys from Dudleyville. Weighing in at 269 pounds, Devon Dudley! Devon Dudley has rugged power, impressive agility, and he will get in anybody's face and put them through tables. Devon is ready to spread the good word for those who call his name. Consider this your official welcome to Dudleyville. Trust us, you won't enjoy your stay. But I bet you Devon has a sermon ready for after the match. Buckle up, it's time for the highlight of the night. When Ricochet is on your screen, prepare to witness an athletic spectacle like you've never seen before. Uh-oh, no! What a malicious attack. This is about getting the edge, not making friends, Saxton. Looks like the referee is getting frustrated trying to get them to bring it to the ring. Neckbreaker! And the possibility for serious injury just went way up. These superstars are starting to get very imaginative right now. You have to think someone's looking at that stage and getting some dark thoughts. You know, Ricochet not only flies, but his accuracy to hit his opponent where the most damage can be done is not spoken about enough. That accuracy comes from Ricochet's ability to understand where his body is in a three-dimensional space. Nobody does that better than Ricochet. Measured knee drop. Intensity and anger boiling over, all coming to a head up on the stage. As we can only see, it's only getting worse by the second, Michael. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. place to fight. Screens, exposed metal, ledges, so much could go wrong very quickly. Well, that'll about do it. The official has waved this match off. I can't believe they threw out their chance to settle the score just to have a fight on the outside. Sometimes it's not about wins and losses, Saxton. Sometimes it's just about sending a message.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Cody Rhodes from Miami, Florida. Weighing in at 259 pounds, Montel Vontavious Porter, MVP. Big time match on tap. When the competition level is this high, you can bet it will be memorable. The Scottish Supernova! And his opponent, from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 178 pounds, Supernova 11, Noah! Look, I'm not downplaying his skills, but Dar needs an ego check. Certainly thinks he's a cut above the rest. You two just don't get how good Noam Dar is. It's time you recognize his profound abilities. You can be talented and humble, Corey. Not in my experience. Highly skilled. He's the first Israeli-born superstar to compete in WWE. He's got a, bit, a little bit of his own swag going, too. He's smug. He's not smug, Cole. He's confident. There we go. Superstars finally enter the ring, and we are officially underway. Nice. The back. MVP fends that off. Put into the corner now. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh, pain must be shooting through that leg now. Look at that. What a leg sweep. Two! And he kicks out at two! At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. That catches MVP looking. Oh, and a stop! And wait a minute, what's the manager doing under the apron? No way! A slingshot cross body! Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting... Reversal from Noam Dar. Bam! Down he goes. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Great leg strength. Man, this is about as close as you can cut it. Oh, taking it right to him. No waiting. Talk about a close call. Yeah, the referee was dangerously close to making it to... Uh-oh. Cross face. And rolls him off. I'm not sure this is going to work. Please don't hurt me. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. Left jack. One coming took advantage. Oh, that could break an arm. Matt slam with some attitude. Clubbing blow to the back. Going after the ankle here. Into an ankle breaker. Stop to the gut. Now a series of vicious outs in the turnbuckle. Stumps. Each of those boots seem to... Here he goes for the win. 
Strong kick out there. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. So much damage inflicted. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way down for a European arm breaker. And MVP is wavering here. This is a good strategy against the veteran MVP. Wearing him out and making him a target. So much torque on the knee and ankle. And Noam is countered. MVP. Well, this matchup has been pretty even so far. Both down. Collision middle of the ring. Wait, hold on. What, what, what is happening here? These two can't be inside the ring. Tempers yeah. have obviously gotten out of control. Good job, referee. And you too. Now, maybe we can focus on this match. The referee does their job and removes the ringside distractions. Great call, ref. Frustration starting him out. MVP thinking he should be sitting in VIP by now, but this match keeps going. Kick! Oh. Reversal from MVP. Forearm smash! He's starting to struggle here. MVP really letting that offense fly there. Drops the knee. Oh, look at MVP, gloating, rip. MVP with the play of the day. MVP on the cusp of ending it. One, two. And that's it. MVP is your winner. Here is your winner, Montel Vontavious Porter. You gotta wonder how much of this loss can get blamed on that melee earlier on. I don't think there's any question it was a major factor. A lot of extra damage got dealt out there. Well, they certainly seem very pleased with themselves. And they should be, coming out on top in what turned out to be a hard-fought match.
The WWE Universe just exploded. That's because L.A. Knight is here. Yeah. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. Knight made headlines when he became a breakout superstar. Now he's on the type of ascent that can't be stopped. Knight has got that unmistakable swagger, and he is creating a special moment in time within WWE, and I'm here for it. Now we are in for a treat tonight. The cocky young cruiserweight, former ECW star, who has had unmatched success in WCW. And his opponents, first from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 205 pounds, Eddie Guerrero! You don't have to like the new and improved Eddie, but you do have to respect him. Well, I personally can't respect anyone this selfish. No denying Guerrero's bad attitude. But there's no denying his bad attitude is going to take him a long, long way. Might be in the best shape of his life. Well, look, when you mix the power and skill of Eddie Guerrero, he makes for a very intimidating opponent. You're right, Byron, and he'll use the power and skills he possesses without reservations. WWE with the accolades to prove it. And from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Freakin' Rollins! A storied career. Rollins has held every singles and tag team title of note in WWE. The first ever NXT champion. The first man to hold the newly minted World Heavyweight Championship. Rollins is one of the most complete competitors this industry has ever seen and is a cornerstone in WWE. You want to prove yourself? Test the visionary. Superstars in the ring, and the referee officially starts the match. Well, if this is the way we're starting, Cole. I think the WWE Universe is in for quite a show tonight. Getting carried around, a bad spot to be in. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. Setting up neck breaker position. Oh, bang! Oh, he retaliates. Take down, put it with a cross face. It's cinched in. They're going to free the arm and does just that. Oh, what a close lock. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. The oh, home man, ladies and gentlemen, better bludgeoning them with that back. Single leg drop kick caught him. 
Look, I know it may sound cliche, but with triple threat matches, you've always got to keep your head on a swivel. Always got to know when to pick your spot, even if you form an alliance. It won't last. That's just the nature of the game. Absolutely spiked. DDT. He catches Knight with a counter. Tough position to be caught in here. Getting tossed around. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. Able to reverse. Swim by, by Rollins. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Oh, my God, a clothesline. Looking like the action is a little more than Knight had bargained for. Drop kick. Oh. Oh, here we go. He's heading back to the ring. Oh my gosh. Power drop kick. Jumping close line. What agility. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Gutbuster! Oh my goodness. There's the jumping oh. knee right to the pin. the pin. And he breaks the pin. And a reversal by Guerrero. Gets inside the ring. Put her in a position now. And it's the ref who takes a hit there. Things might be getting a little out of control. Ooh, man. Placed in the corner. Eddie taking a step back and measuring his opponent. He can do it here. Close there, it could be do or die time. Ah, oh, jump shoulders down, this could be it. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. And this match will head back to the ring. He gets out of the way. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Ah, oh, what a neck breaker. Oh, this can end it right here. Here it he comes. He's absorbing some tough hits now. It's expected, Cole. In a triple threat match, the target on your back is twice the size. Boom, a forearm smack. Shifts it back onto him. Wicked chop block. Oh, a knee right to the face. Oh, man. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Caught with the boot. And again. Great way to wear down your opponent.
There he goes, right into the corner. Kick to the gut. And a big right hand. A precision shot, and now Rollins is bleeding. And he has free reign to the outside with no countouts to worry about. Getting back into the ring. Oh, swung for the fences. And his hope is starting to Looking to free the arm and does just that. Eddie Guerrero! Brain Buster! Here's Eddie's chance. Boom! Oh, man, what a boot! Measured up nicely. Fist drop! He could pin his opponent right here! I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. LA Knight, what a force drop! Is there any fight left in Rollins? Broken up, and the match continues. That's teamwork. Was ready for that. And set right into the corner. These men have been giving each other such a beating. And you can see the toll of that beating taking effect with every movement. Rollins escaping danger. He climbs into the ring. <laughs> Hooked up. Nothing fancy there. Spinning Uranagi. Powerball. Planet. Cover. And the count stopped short of two. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. to escape it. Off they go! Oh, atomic drop! Rollins looking for it! Stop! Rollins just turned the lights out. Able to parry that one. High angle belly of back suplex. Take down, 
Put him in the cross face. It's cinched in. This could be over. I have no idea. They're going to free the arm and does just that. Coming back in the ring. Picture perfect drop kick. Hooked them up. High angle belly to back suplex. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. LA not ready to use the microphone as a weapon. This time, literally. No! Suicide dive! Absolutely yeah. throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. Look at him. Pride and poise personified. Close line. Just punched him right in the middle for a left and spread in the face. My God. And here comes our old faithful. The steel chair is in hand. Oh my! He's back into the ring. Oh, from behind. Shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Oh no, now that he has the kendo stick, I definitely do not want to be in his path of destruction. Improving a bit slippery for them there. Oh man, a drop kick. Here he goes for the win. And he fights it off. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Prevents Eddie's attack. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. Look out. The stop. This one has to be over. No surprise that what we're witnessing is trending. Forget trending on social media. The motion in the arena is charting on the Richter scale. Seth Rollins lifting a fallen opponent, has him tied up. For the win! Oh, and he breaks up the pin. Man. LA Knight kicked to the gut with BFT. Knight about to end this fight. Two. He got it. LA Knight gets the win. Here is your winner, LA Knight. This triple threat victory, some would call it quite the Herculean feat. This was an unpredictable one, but when it was all said and done, only one man could be left standing. One man out of three. It was always bound to lead to a little chaos.
All right. I love this guy. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 189 pounds, the Ring of Honor Pure Champion, Wheeler Muta! Matches like these, with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is in art form. Here comes the king of hardcore, Terry Funk, and his partner from Amarillo, Texas, weighing in at 247 pounds, Terry Funk. Terry Funk possesses a list of accolades a mile long. Let's talk about a former WWE Tag Team Champion, a multiple-time WCW United States Champion and a multiple-time ECW champion. Yeah, and don't forget, Corey, countless other titles all the way from Texas to Japan. This is going to be brutal. There is no area in this arena that is safe when Terry Funk's around. No one loves pain and punishment more than Terry Funk. He's back! Forget the night of Punk's historic return. But now, Punk must prove himself. Says he's now home, but many competitors have said this is no longer his home. Punk has never been more focused. He's now down to business, and he wants to rewrite his legacy and write a whole new chapter in the WWE. Punk possesses a lethal combination of fighting styles, and he's going to need it tonight. Yeah, no doubt about it. Punk is always ready for a fight, and he proclaims he is the measuring stick until someone proves him otherwise. Ha, ha, ha. Are you guys ready? And from Virginia, weighing in at 215 pounds. I'm all for tough competition, but this one likes to take things too far. Their matches can be downright gruesome sometimes, the way they go after their opponent. This industry isn't about being gentle, Saxton. You have to be a little mean sometimes to ensure the win. If anything, I think the intensity can be turned up in the ring. Referee signals for the bell, and we are finally underway. These superstars are seeing red right now, gentlemen. Oh, oh an overhand punch. Turned that one around. 
Got the leg. Bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up. ACL and MCL both could have been affected by that move. starting to build. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. Looking wobbly in the corner. Uh, in the corner. Dragon screw. Tap, tap. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Kick down low, done it! Tag made, tag made. Big four connects. Uncorked a big punch. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. That arm's gonna be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. And Funk turning it around. Ah, uh, setting him up for the... Oh, shoulders down. This could be it. He forces a break before the count of two. Not time to expect victory yet. He went right into that turnbuckle. Straight upside down in a tree of woe. Stuck in a tree of woe and right up against oh, his face. Come on. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. And Fuck might have underestimated his opponent. And he's coming in hot. Oh, goodness, that looked bad. And oh, oh, my God, what a forearm! Right to the jaw. Great reversal. Face first with a waist lock takedown. Chop block. Right oh. to the knee. Illegal in many sports, but that was used effectively in there. Good timing with that reversal. Cradle pile drive. Suplex attempt. Able to go behind, though. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. And that can end up putting CM Punk on shaky legs for a bit. Whoa, just flew. And he goes for the pin. Reaches his partner for the tag. Ow. Eat defeat. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Tag switching it up. Took him out at the knee. Vicious attack. They outlaw that move from other sports for a reason. Here he comes off the tag. And Punk gets countered there. What a clothesline! Ouch! Fist drop! Strong counter from Punk. He takes control. Down to Punk. 
and a double axe handle smash. Stiff kick. Ah, oh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Looking for the single leg. Oh, that hurt. This match is brutality starting to show on him. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resource. Plants him with a Uranagi. Seamless transition into the Anaconda Vice. Uh, he's in complete control. Opponent has nowhere to go. Uh, a couple of knees there. That'll get him out of it. Terry Funk places him in position. Gonna spike him with a pile driver. into action. He's able to fend off the attack. Ooh! Posted all the way up. Three Buster! He thinks he has it! He breaks the ref's count before two. Surprised to not even get a two count at this point. Kick right to the midsection. He's totally helpless. Belly to back, waistlock, suplex. Piercing chop. Now it's in palm strikes. He's tagging out. situation right now. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. And he gets set back into the ring. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Bob hoisting up his opponent, looking to finish him here. GTS connects. That's going to keep Funk down. There's two. Kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. I truly thought it was all over there. Talk about resilience. Yeah, did you see how the referee had to get into position? That was all the difference. CM Punk thought that was enough. We thought that was enough, but somehow it didn't earn the three count. No love loss between these superstars. Terry Funk sweeps the leg. Spinning to the hole. And he's able to fend off what must have been a grueling submission. Oh, uh, setting him up for the shit breaker. And this has got to be it. No, a two count. How in the world did he kick out? Tag is made. And stomping away in the corner. Just ruthless. Uh-oh. Had that one scouted. Oh, he's got him by the leg. The foot DDT. And here we go now. Jumps the elbow. Tag made, fresh man in. Oh, check this out. What a DDT. Man, good night. Wow, what a save. Corey, that should have been three. I couldn't agree more. Regal Plex. 
He's got something in store. Got a great display of strength with the suplex. All the way up. Oh, no. Good night. Do the buster. He just created a prime opportunity. Just an incredible wherewithal to get the shoulder up. Yeah, you would think he'd be out of it after taking that maneuver. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes of the fact that he hasn't finished this or if it's disbelief that his opponent is still in this. And it, hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. That stretch could lead to a snap. And there's the save. He can end it here. He's got him. Shoulders down. Kicks out. The fact that these superstars can still be moving at this point is beyond the realm of reality. Oh, put the brakes on Funk. Oh, look at this blitz. Left, right, high, low. Man. Oh, man. Every single one hitting the mark. Oh, man. Got him up. Uh-oh. Funk gets out of the way. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. He's reeling, slowly getting up. Whoa! Suicide dive to the outside. Cole does it better. Pinpoint precision right on target. Carefully measured knee strikes. Oh, and him with these knee strikes. Six. Gets him with the counter. Backbreaker. What a lethal combination there. What a way. Shoulders down. Stopping the ref's count at two. So, so close. That could have been it. to stomp in every single part of his body. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Counters! Oh, what a net. Uh-oh! Turned it into an arm drag. Ooh, devastating knee to the neck. Climbing up top, he's got big plans! Soaring. You gotta love the low down. Tagged into the action. Ooh, well measured. And the cover for the win. Kicks out. He still has life. How? How? Shot to the gut will break things up. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Tagging his partner in now. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Caught with a punch. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at his aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Wasting no motion on the counter. Turns that back on CM Punk. There's a tag. What are we going to see here? Double team effort. Flame shoulder block. My goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. for that. Punk has him trapped up across the shoulders. Good night, GTS. Gonna be taking that dirt now. Oh, 
Uh-oh, Hazardous part of town oh. here on the apron. Oh, oh my goodness! The suspense this crowd is feeling is palpable. They are waiting with bated breath for what's to come next. Sit straight into the barricade. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. That'll stop the count, and this match will continue. I'm glad that wasn't the end of things. Hurricanrana, ideals meal. Great counter. Fist directly to the gut. Tagged in. Oh, look it. Oh, clubbing blow. Not done yet. And a big knee left over the ropes to the floor. Just hot shot it to the outside. One. Two. Vicious right forearm. Punch lands. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. Pile driver. Funk is zeroed in on him. Terry Funk sweeps the leg. We're going to step through into the spinning toe. Oh, this is just terrible to watch. He's in so much pain and can't do anything. Knew what Terry had coming. Bang! Got comes out on top in this tag team match. Here are your winners. Wheeler Muta! And Terry Funk. Falling victim to the ref's count. This one is over. It's not the prettiest, most honorable, or even the most fun way to win, but hey, countouts happen. The WWE Universe just exploded! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds, Christian Page! Saxton, how do you defend this superstar? You hold the door open for the Invisible Man. This superstar doesn't respect anyone around here. Hey, respect is a two-way street, Corey. And yeah, the locker room doesn't respect this superstar. Neither do the people in charge. But the WWE Universe stands behind this superstar, and the respect is returned there. Here comes the architect, Seth Rollins, the self-proclaimed future 
of WWE. Ready to go and do exactly what he does best. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins. Cocky, crafty, conniving. Seth Rollins is one heck of an athlete, but his ego and attitude have obviously eclipsed his otherwise impressive talent. Okay, Cole. Crafty? Yeah, you yourself dubbed him the architect, Cole. Conniving? He simply has vision. Cocky? Why wouldn't he be? He's the future of this company, like it or not. Sometimes it can be hard to tell just how good Seth Rollins really is. But he really is capable in the ring. We've seen that before and we'll no doubt see that tonight. Well, I'd say he's more than capable. Rollins believes he's on a whole other level. And it's hard to argue against that. And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary at this point. I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. Oh, no, 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 no. The world's strongest splash. Look at this, got their opponent pinned down, and now... <laughs> Rollins got out of the way. Oh, across the top rope. Choose any Seth Rollins nickname you want, they're all true. And the WWE Universe can't deny it. Counters, this could be an opportunity. If this works, it could change the course of the match. Up high, through the air, it connects. Coming down on their opponent like a sack of bricks. Snap suplex. Now oh, hook him up. Face buster. Look at that insult to injury with that one. And I think we all know nothing good comes of fighting on the stage. Case in point, nothing good happening right now. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. And Seth just taunting his opponent now. Seth, uh oh. He can end it here. He kicks out instantly. Not even close. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Face buster plants him. Oh. Sling blade. Now he's been put on the defensive. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. He switches it back around. Oh, look at this. Look at the suplex off the top rope. Oh, jeez. Take all the wind out of you. This could do it. No early kick out. This isn't even close to over. Oh, that didn't go as Seth designed. Kick to the gut. Right to run into a neck breaker. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Playing possum. Shoulders down. Shoulders up. He's not even close to being done yet. Oh, right in the solar plexus. Just pounding away. Enough already. Some might see that as a weapon, but a manager is just making sure the area is safe for his client. Oh, bomb. 
That powerbomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Rollins getting worked on here. Any of Rollins' defenses have been pegged. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Corner and a couple back elbows to follow. He thinks he has it. No, he kicks out. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it. Powerless position to be in right now. Torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, oh, man. Sleeper holds cinched in. And great side of the sleeper. Yeah. Rocked with the point of the elbow. Quickly the cover. Pushes through after two. He thought he had it. Oh, look at this. Send him up. Inferted DDT. He can end it here. Shoulder up, and the referee ends the count. Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. Catches the kick. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. A club with a right forearm. Bam, what a slap. Uh-oh. -uh. Adding a level of insult with that kind of physicality. For the victory here. The official's concerned with the wrong thing right now. They're completely missing the pin. Wow, I thought this was over. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Knees up just in time. Vicious right forearm. Separation. Here it comes. Stop. Now Rollins needs to end this. Makes a cover. Near fall. I don't know how he did it, but he's hanging in there. Just how much pain is he willing to endure in this match? Seth Rollins in deep thought, hoping to conjure one last move to win this. This has been an absolutely brutal display of will from these men. You can see their flames starting to flicker. And it's only a matter of time before one goes out. Taking this to the floor. <laughs> oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Amazing sequence from Rollins. And Rollins cannot be stopped. Three. Isolating the foot. Known to be irritating, we're seeing no different now. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. Oh, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. He is delivering elbow after elbow. the mark. Surefire. Well, I didn't, but there is no question that Rollins won big here.
Here comes the hitman. Oh, uh, yeah, the excellence of execution. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Weighing in at 235 pounds. Wait a minute. Come Great. on. What the do they think they're doing? Man. Oh, come on, Cole. You know exactly oh. what they're doing, and it's brilliant. Gentlemen, I think this one's going to turn into a fight in a hurry, and I cannot. Whoa, jump starting the action. That is some unsportsmanlike conduct. Oh, give me a break, Saxton. And the referee is motioning for these superstars to get into the ring where this match belongs. I'm not sure there's any reasoning with them at this point. Corey, we know about Bret Hart's superior technical ability. So what does his opponent have to do to avoid that and win here tonight? Turn this thing into a fight. Force the hitman out of his comfort zone and become distracted. Brett can slug it out, but if you have sufficient brawling expertise, it can overpower Hart. Down on the skull. You hit a move like that, you're not just trying to win. You're trying to keep your opponent down indefinitely. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Ooh, followed up with an elbow. Body slam slipped out. Inverted DDT. Carefully measured knee drop. Thrown back in under the ropes. Superstars in the ring, and the referee officially starts the match. Well, this is the way we're starting. I think the WWE Universe is in for quite a show tonight. even more out of his opponent. Great wherewithal on the counter. Reversal, what a counter. And targeting the leg there. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Solid results on that one for Hitman. Ducky out of trouble. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. You know, guys, I didn't think much of this, but the animosity is really starting to grow here. Right now, I think they're just not seeing eye to eye, Michael. This one is headed outside, guys. And everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Gets to the ropes, and that's going to cause the ref to break the hold. Quick reaction to Hart there. Nicely done, snap suplex. So quick. Just rake in the face. This is outright disrespectful. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. Elbows to the face will create separation. A little rope assistance. Attacking the arm, getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. Getting carried, unsure what they're thinking. Oh, right to the throat. Uh-oh. Elm, can he do it here? Big kick out. He's determined to keep this matchup 
going. Down hard. Sent into the corner. And it's a long way down from there. Oh, ouch. Oh, right in there. Retaliation from the hitman. Measured knee drop. Elbow drop driven down. Excellent execution from Hitman. Hitman working the competition down. Hung out to dry. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Oh, and a reversal. He's finally finding an answer to that onslaught. Prime opportunity now for him to get some separation and gather himself. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. He is mentally and physically exhausted now. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. Uh-oh. And Brett gets countered. He might be able to start mounting something here. Now's a chance for him to get back into this match. Oh, right to the throat. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from there. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. He's been placed in the corner now. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Air raid crash. This could do it. Near fall for the hitman. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Dropped with a suplex. These men have been all gas and no brakes tonight, and they have to be feeling the effects. Well, they have to be running on fumes. I don't know how much longer they can go. Ah, he's got that boot right up against oh, his face. Come on. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Red Hart looking to finish this once and for all. Can he turn him? Yes, he does. Sharpshooter. One last gas effort, and that'll do it. <laughs> nice side headlock applied. Oh, what a good Gosh. measure. Paying it right back with a reversal. Uh, Monkey flip. And it's a tough spot for Hart. Yeah, Brett being faced with adversity here. And he tosses him back in now. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, look at this. Just crank in the head. That's got to hurt. Crank in the head. Block the effort and cut them off with a shot to the gut. Hooked up. Boom! Package drive. This is troublesome for Hitman. And that right there is why Bret Hart is on another level. When your opponent can hang after all that, you're wondering if earning a win might just be impossible. And a lot of crowd doesn't get any higher than this. On the edge of their seats and then some. High risk. Elbow drop from the top. Cover. Two. Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, Mark Briggs Kong. So Bret Hart comes out on the losing side of this one. I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it, Cole, but I will say the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating right now.